Hi everyone, this is Vidur and uh, welcome to this new video. Uh, in this video, we plan to discuss uh, about the new MSP dashboard that Ms. Juniper has launched. And uh, so there have been a lot of enhancements done around that dashboard, but now the one that has come out is absolutely wonderful. Uh, so, so basically uh, MSPs, uh, you know, customers who run the other customers' networks and, and they provide them service, whether it's the wired, wireless and SD-WAN, uh, they they have multiple customers already onboarded and 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 they are the ones who run the show. This new dashboard is absolutely ideal for them. So the kind of issues that they face when running large networks and when they're, when running multiple customers networks, uh, I think this dashboard pretty much simplifies simplifies a lot of things for them. So let's 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 see how the dashboard looks like and 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 walk through a few other things that might be very beneficial for other MSPs as well. So. Uh, let me just try to move to the dashboard. Okay, cool. So uh, for now, I think you are pretty much used to watching the old, looking at the old dashboard that MIST has. That is the a single organization dashboard. However, however, this one is the MSP dashboard. Now, as you can see from the screen, there are multiple customers already onboarded, right? We have uh, all the orgs already created, uh, total 34 orgs that are created right now. And since it is the, the demo MSP dashboard. So uh, we pretty much have all the work done uh, initially. And, uh, and, 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 and and as you can see, uh, you get a very cool, very good view of, you know, what all, you know, how many orgs are there, how many sites are active right now, and a view of the device inventory also. So you see 60 APs, 22 switches, and also the van edges in, 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 in you know, deployed and in use. Uh, one more thing that you do see is the subscriptions which are active and which are expired and 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 you know the orgs on which the subscriptions have actually exceeded so this is a very cool good you know uh, single page dashboard view which which you see uh, you know uh, right in front of you i see multiple orgs already onboarded with with the active sites with you know how many apis are in use how many switches are in use how many vanages they have and if you want to add any label you can do that as well when those orgs, when this org was created, when this customer was basically onboarded, and if there are, and the status of the subscription also is pretty much viewable here. So uh, if I want to sort this out in a different way, of course, with the active sites, I can click on that and I can get all the sites that have zero and, you know, in ascending, descending order, whichever, I, whichever way I want to sort. Similarly, for the APs, I can do that. Switches, pretty much the same. WAN devices, also pretty much the same. So, uh, you know, and, and if you want to, you know, sort these out uh, on the on the dates that they are, they were created by all means. So so you see live demo org, and you're all familiar with live demo. That is the the network that we have in Cupertino running for for demos demo purposes that we use. That org is also that was the first org created. It, it was created way back on 31st August 2016. So you can sort this out. You know, based on that uh, on on the created date date as well. Right. And also, if you want to move into any customer uh, org from here, it's a single click. If I click on this, I'll be taken to a different org altogether. So I'm going to show that to you in a bit. But let's do this. Let's see how this makes our life extremely easy, you know, for, for all the uh, different MSPs out there who, who handle large customers and who handle multiple customers. How is this dashboard really making life easy for them? So one is I'm going to show you how to onboard a customer. It, it is extremely easy. Okay, with the click of a button, I can do something like a create organization here. And the two things that they usually face an issue with is how to onboard a new customer. Second is how to manage licenses. You know, if they're running 100 customers or they're managing 100 networks, how to transfer licenses, manage the licenses of 100 customers is a, is a bit of a challenge for all of them. And that's a, a big pain point, which we have kind of addressed now in this dashboard. So one is I'm going to show you how to create an org. Let's do that. Uh, let's click on create an org and I'm going to write down with or underscore test. It's a test org for it. I can add any label that I want, whether it's a retail uh, retail uh, deployment or, or a school, K-12, uh, education, uh, hospitality, healthcare, anything I want to add, I can add. I'm going to leave this blank for now. I can also use any other org that I've already created as a base template for this. Okay. Uh, if I want this to be a replica of any other org, or let's say I, I'm using some some templates in that org which I want uh, to be all to also use in with the test, I can do that. I can simply go ahead and create a replica, and then I can create an I can click on add organization. Let me do that for you right now, and I see this this one the circle moving, which means the org is getting created now. 
let's give it a minute and see once it is it is created so now if you see the org number from 34 move to 35 which means there is somewhere this wither test or created and since i've sorted this out on the basis of creation i'm going to i should see this org right at the bottom so i do see it now uh now but i do see there is there are like no subscriptions there are like no licenses now which takes me to the next part of the demo uh i i also want to transfer some licenses into that with your test org right so let me do this i'll click on transfer license and this is extremely beneficial guys uh, if i click on transfer license it takes me to this new page where i can transfer the license from any org that is already there to this new org so how how i would use this is because you know in a way is if I have a staging org, which means, you know, I, I create one staging org where I put all the licenses that I have, which I buy for, for multiple customers. And from that staging org, I can transfer licenses like in, in like less than a minute. So let me select a staging org, which means let's say I want to transfer the source org is let's say live demo, for example, I want to transfer licenses from live demo to a destination org that is my wither test that I've right now created. Okay, and uh, now the moment I select this, it gives me a view of all the licenses which are transferable, all the licenses which are available for me to transfer. I can transfer asset visibility. I can transfer Marvis for wired and EX switches. I can transfer Marvis for wireless. I can transfer Mistage license, the VBLE license, so on and so forth. So I can transfer all these licenses which are available for me to transfer. Let's let's do this. Let's let's so transferable quantity is five. Okay. It also tells me how many licenses I can transfer from the available licenses. That's This is also pretty cool. So let me see, I, I wanna transfer this subscription and I wanna transfer two licenses now from asset visibility from live demo all the way to wither test, okay? So let me click on transfer and see if it works out for me or not. It says transferred subscription successfully Let's go into the org now. So, so the way to move on, you know, go into a customer org now is just with the click of a button. Okay, it's as simple as that. Let me click a button on Wither Test and it opens up a new tab for me, which should be the Wither Test org that I just created. So there you go. We're in the Wither Test org. And let's go and quickly go and check the subscription that I transferred. And wow, I do see the, uh, the subscription showing active, you know, Two, and of course there is no usage but but the active subscription do, does show to be two now which is what exactly you know we, we, were, we were trying to achieve so that's awesome let me go back to the first tab which is the uh which is the uh, uh the msp dashboard now what i, what I want to do is i want to transfer the subscription back because this is the one transferred from live demo i don't want to mess that up so uh let's 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 do this let's go back to transfer subscription and this time I want to transfer the licenses back from Wither Test. That is my source org now. And I want to transfer it back to live demo. Okay. I see, okay, I see two of them transferable, two of them uh, currently. So I'll I'll check this and I'll transfer it back to uh let me move my video here. I'll transfer it back to live demo. So okay, awesome. So I do see this. Let me check once again if it is done. I'll click on Wither Test one more time. It should bring up a new tab, takes me to that org. Click on subscription subscriptions. I see, yes, it's it's no longer there. I do see trial licenses, which are there by default, which is which are of course gonna be there by default, but I do not see the active licenses anymore, which means my active license got back to live demo. Okay, that's, that's really awesome because uh, this is something which makes our life to onboard a new customer to, to manage and transfer licenses between different orgs, extremely easy and simple, right? That is just the, uh, that is the management view of it. Now I'm gonna take you to the other part. I'm gonna also explore the service levels. Now this page is giving me a, you know, a holistic view of all the active orgs that we have, all the, all the customers that we've onboarded and giving me a combined view of the SLEs of that org. Now, how is that org performing in a high level? How is that uh, concerned to me? Is something which I can come and see here. I can see the wireless SLEs. I can also see the wired SLEs. I can also see the WAN SLEs. So this one view is giving me the entire information about the entire network of that particular customer and, and you know for all the customers combined, if I want to see that too. 
this is brilliant because and you know this this tells me which org needs my attention which which part of that org needs my attention if i see you know this org seems okay but the wide wide side seems to be a concern so i can i can just simply click on the org here and and go and and troubleshoot i can click on uh, the marvis action here i see there are 36 marvis action items pending i can click on this and it it says okay this is what is pending why don't you go to the marvis action page directly and see for yourself so i'll click on this uh it takes me to the it should take me to the live demo or to the missed marvis action page and that's exactly what it does you know so so with the click of a button it takes me exactly where i have to be and that's that's actually wonderful and and you know it gives me an idea of of where i need to be and how i need to troubleshoot things that's pretty awesome to be honest uh this is one and let's let's explore what this page shows us so this is going to show us the msp uh information page this is the msp information page where i can change the name uh, i can write my own name or if i am an msp i can write my own name here i can upload my logo as well so if if i am an msp if i am verizon i'm if i am t mobile if i am tcs tcl here in india vodafone i can upload my own logo and and instead of this missed logo at the top left let me zoom in you know my logo will come so the msp logo will can be displayed here and that that is also something which we have come up with uh you know this is pretty much uh, straightforward this is the single sign on information uh the other thing is the labels now uh if you remember when i was creating an organization i got an option to create a label as well now that means uh now which you know how many orgs are connected to which label is something which i can see here okay now that is that is also pretty cool It gives me an idea of you know what kind of uh, customers i have onboarded how, you know i have onboarded you know three healthcare customers 2k 12 customers 13 manufacturing customers you know 20 enterprise customers and and i get a whole you know good view and a summary of you know what those customers are are like uh, that's in the msp labels part uh, the msp admin part will tell us you know who all ad, you know what, what all you know which all admins i have actually added to this to view this msp i i can't click on this right now because there are email addresses of a lot of cust of a lot of uh, juniper employees here i can't i can i cannot give you the email addresses of of them but 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 this page will tell us you know that uh, how many uh, admins are there for this msp how many people can view and what all rights they have uh, you know to to view uh, this the what content of the msp so i can actually you know restrict them from viewing a few ms few customers i can restrict them from viewing you know to viewing some part of some customers as well so that is something that that's the kind of control i have uh, you know under the admin part and that actually makes this whole dashboard extremely powerful so you know all the msps who are looking to onboard new customers and and lo are looking for simplicity into managing the network and 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 the combined network not just the wireless part the wireless the wired and and the ms and the and the sd wan part this is the dashboard to go for so guys i mean uh, feel free to use this video to pass on to multiple customers uh, pass on to you know multiple partners and 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 this is for for your own knowledge as well uh in case you want to give this dashboard a try drop me an email reach out to me on linkedin uh, reach out to me in the comment section on this video i'll be more than happy to hook you up with the right person to to you know to build a dashboard for you and anyway so thank you so much guys this was all about the msp uh, dashboard that we have created uh, and thank you so much for watching so far and hope this video was useful for you hope you learned something out of it uh, thank you so much again guys and you guys have a wonderful day take care bye